weird. It feels like we just had a god in chapter. It's almost like this entire feature was rushed and not very well thought out. Hmm. Anyway, besides the cool lava cave aesthetic, this is a typical Gaiden chapter. Here's our recruitable character, though we don't get to actually use him in this chapter. There are some generals in the middle, and then on the left side is the most resistance in the form of a lot of cavalry and a couple of bishops and manichaeids. No reinforcements this time, so what you see is what you get, and what you get is a kinda barren map with yet another armored boss with no ability to fight back at range. I feel like a broken record. Splitting up the army is definitely the way to go here. None of the various paths you can take are difficult enough that you need the entire force of your group. There's plenty of treasure to grab, and if you want to recruit the new character, you need to send Marth up to the top right to talk to him. I'm sending Maria with Marth so that she can warp him over to the boss by the time all his business is finished. This map is full of one-tile wide bridges perfect for choke points, so if you've got a strong enough unit, you can just melt entire squads of enemies without exposing anyone else to danger. It's kind of insulting that we're still seeing unpromoted enemies this late in the game, but that's guide and chapter balance for you. Let's make this quick. Oh, geez. Alright, you can still die in these chapters if you don't pay attention. Uh... Est is doing really well with these 55% strength growth rolls. She might unironically turn out to be the best of the White Wings if she keeps this up. Well, maybe not better than Katria. So that talk makes Ymir leave the battlefield and ensures we'll recruit him after we finish the chapter. The only gameplay reason I can think of that they wouldn't allow you to control him within this chapter is that he's so far away from the enemies that he probably wouldn't get a chance to fight anyway. Remember how I said Tiki was good for fighting dragons? Yep, yeah, she's really good for fighting dragons. One of the bishops here has a swarm tome, so just send in a flyer to shut him off before he hits you from long range.
I don't care if this is fantasy Japanese Europe, I don't believe for an instant that somebody would seriously name their son Larissa. No wonder he turned into a generic comic book villain, and then got roasted by a dragon girl. Alright, time to seize. That's gonna be zero, Chief. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.